With 100,000 visitors, 4,500 exhibitors from over 140 countries, Jitex is without a doubt the biggest tech event in the UAE, where some key announcements and revelations are made by the top players. Let's find out what they were this year. The whole of last week saw some crazy inventions being revealed in fields ranging from artificial intelligence, robotics, future mobility and so on. How crazy? Flying car crazy, floating smart police station crazy, high-tech horse saddle crazy. Well, this year, like most years, there were a lot of cool tech on display. Let me start with possibly one of the biggest crowd magnets, the 5G-powered Lazarette LM847. What is it? A motorcycle, which was much more than just a motorcycle. Powered by 5G, four jet turbines and a 5.2-litre Maserati V8 engine, this motorcycle delivers 470 brake horsepower and switch from riding mode to flight mode in just, wait for it, under 60 seconds at just a press of a button. Absolutely unaffordable for someone with just a day job like me, this beast is priced at 560,000 US dollars. But the catch is how exactly is it going to be licensed to run on Dubai's roads because to use flight mode, you need to be trained and licensed. Only time will tell, I guess. With 5G being the buzzword used by every one of the tech companies in the world, Etisalat knew they had to do something spectacular and they pretty much nailed it. The flying car pop-up next is the first fully electric and zero emission modular system that brings together road mobility and air transport. So basically, Etisalat showed how the arrival of 5G technology will allow faster data transmissions and will prove to be a game changer for the autonomous industry. But Jitex wasn't just about the glitzy and glamorous showcases this year. It also had demonstrations of how technology can make our lives easier and more convenient. Diwa highlighted its latest smart customer services and innovative digital technologies in electricity and water. Dubai's Smart City Ambition Strategy, which is set to save 125 million hours for citizens and 130,000 trees per year and unlock savings of 900 million dirhams for the M was also discussed. Do solutions include technology that assists radiologists to make informative diagnostic decisions about the presence of tuberculosis. The world's first floating police station is set to open off the Emirates World Islands next year. The UAE's Ministry of Human Resources and Emiratization will now be able to issue work permits in as fast as two days thanks to its new Smart Committee service. Microsoft underscored its commitment to enriching teamwork across the region when it unveiled its Surface Hub 2S device, which delivers unprecedented battery-enabled mobility and collaboration in a 50-inch powerhouse. Saudi telecom company STC unveiled 10 digital platform projects at Jitex this year. The STC-backed projects covers the fields of economics, digital payments, education and technology. And of course, Virgin Hyperloop One showcased how its technology, which features electromagnetically levitated pods traveling through low-pressure tubes at speeds of up to 1,000 km per hour or more, can improve mobility across the world. Well, we will continue bringing to you highlights from the tech, business and news field. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course, like, follow and comment on this video.